everyone welcome back to my craft room if you're new to my craft room then welcome today I'm going to be working on my fall wreath like I said in my last video my other wreaths got ruined down in our basement with our oil tank leaking and stuff so I have to start from scratch here so we're going to work with some of this Dollar Tree uh, decorative mesh these are six inches wide and you get five yards on here um, this stuff is nothing like it used to be so we're going to hope for the best here it's very very spread out now the mesh is not a tight weave at all but I used to like to do the you know when you just cut them and roll them and do it that way but these fray so bad that I don't even do those anymore and I just have a whole bunch of different um, pipe cleaners here that I'm going to use it really doesn't matter because you're not going to see them what color it is uh, but I had all these on hand so I figured I'll use these up some people like to use zip ties but I'm going to use these because in this one I actually want to add some ribbons to it and there's a few things I still have to go get that I want to do with this that I'm going to do tomorrow. But I figure I'll get this started, and for you guys, it'll only be a matter of like two seconds because, you know, I'll just stop the video and get the rest of the stuff tomorrow. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm going to use two of these at the same time, and we're going to do what people call it different things. I call it the bubble method. Um, I'm going to take two of these um, multicolored. I like these because they're multicolors, so you don't have to use like too many different kinds. And I'm going to work with two of these at a time. Um, I'm going to take a pipe cleaner here to start, and I like to put them between these two right here in the center. So I'm going to put one down through here, and one is going to go across, hang on, over on this side, just for the first one that I'm going to do here. That way when you're pulling on it, it's not going to move. So we'll just hook that one on there real quick, and I'm going to leave these long so I can add my ribbons in later. I'm not sure how many ribbons I'm going to use yet. And that's one of the things i got to find because I thought I had enough and I don't. But anyway, I've got these two together. I'm just going to connect these here. Um, I like to leave these a little long so I can tuck them under and just give it a few good twists. I usually do like three, whatever you feel comfortable with. And I'm going to just leave these sticking up like that so I can use these to attach the ribbons where I'm going to attach them. So I'm not going to attach as many on here as I do with the pipe cleaners, but I'm not sure where I want them yet, so I'm just going to leave them all on. So then I just have my little ruler. I just leave it on the table and just kind of try to measure out like eight inches and then just pinch them together. And then you're going to need another pipe cleaner. You know, I'm just going to keep going here with these in between, and we'll figure out how many by the time we're done here. Um, I should have done this first before I even measured. Or you can put them all on at the same time if you want to, if you know exactly how many you're going to need. Um, all right, now i got to measure this again. So, just so it's approximately all the same. And then pinch it together at your 8-inch mark. And then just give it a few twists. And then I'm just going to shove that one right up against the first one we did so it'll make a nice bubble. Now after we're done getting these all on, you're going to separate all these and then you'll have a nice full wreath. But we're not going to do that yet. That's better off waiting until you're done. But this will cover up everything real nice. So that is all we're going to do with this. So let me get these in here. I know some people like to put them all on first, but you know what? They get in my way sometimes. So I just kind of like to do them one at a time. It just makes my life easier. And I just give that like one twist just to hold it in place. All right, I'm going to pull that over, measure it down to the eight inches, and put it on here. I'm just going to do one of these sections here on camera because it's all done the same way, and you guys don't need to watch me do the whole thing. That would be really boring. But just to give you an idea of how I'm starting it here and how many I think I'm going to put in each section. All right, give that a twist. So I'm going to shove that one up there. Hopefully these don't get too tangled together. The one I had where the they have this shiny stuff going through, it got caught and had a nice pull to it. But see how pretty that is? Um, it'll look much better once we separate it, but it's really pretty this way. And it's so much easier than cutting them all out and rolling them into little tubes. Especially if you have any problems with your 
wrists or things like that like I do. This is just so much easier. And I think they're really, really pretty. I wasn't sure if I was going to like this kind, but I really do like them a lot. All right. And I want to make sure I have enough of these rolls because I don't know what I'm doing lately here. It's been crazy with things going on. We have somebody coming to replace our oil tank, which should be a lot of fun. It's downstairs in our basement in a room. I don't even know how they're getting the old one out of there. But it's just always something, right? But that thing's been here ever since we lived here, so I guess it's time for a new one. All right. So what do we got on here so far? We got four. So we'll see. Let's put a green one in here just for fun. I know everybody has their own way of doing this, but, you know, whatever works best. I find it easier just to, I was going to hook my, actually hook my ruler to the table, and I figured no, because I'm going to move it around, so. Some people I know have hooked their ruler right to the or use one of those mats that already have the measurements cut out on it. I have one of those somewhere, I don't even know what I did with that. <coughs> but this works just fine. You don't need anything fancy to do this, that's for sure. All right. Make sure I'm keeping these up here in the air where I want them. There. All right, let's keep going here. I hope I have enough of this mesh. Um, I haven't done one of these in a while, so I just couldn't remember how many I used before. So... Come on. See, I forgot to put it on again first. There we go. You just want to make sure it's nice and snug, too. You don't want too much wiggle room there. I want this to be nice and full, so... I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough of this. We shall see. Alright, how many of you guys are yelling at me right now saying you forgot to put the thing on again? <laughs> oh, it's one of those days. I thought I had everything I needed for this reef and I just can't find it. You know, when you have something pictured in your mind, and of course, you know, all the things that I did pick up at Dollar Tree, I just don't have exactly what I want for the center of these. But I will show you what I did to some of those pumpkins that I'm going to use on here. I think maybe two more on this section. Put your stinking pipe cleaner on there. <laughs> there we go. All right. See, when I put them on first, though, they get in my way. Especially the more you get on here. Get over there. All right. Pretty full right there. I don't know if I want to. I think I will put enough. One more. Let's do one more. I'll tang 
no dark. I need a bigger table to work on these is what I need. I had to move all my pretty boxes back there. Alright. I think that should be good. So, there's our 8 inch bubbles. Nope, you know what? I'm thinking we might need another one. It's just going to leave too much bare space in there. Actually, maybe two more. This is what I was worried about. I'm really afraid I'm not going to have enough of this. And you know how things go at Dollar Tree. And my luck of finding more of these, this um, this color mesh, ugh. so wish me luck. I'm going to have to head out in the morning and see what I can find. see any spaces in here. I want it to be really full. Cool. Alright. I can tell already that I am not going to have enough. I bought six. I don't know what I was thinking because I'm pretty sure I used eight. But of course, I couldn't remember when I was at the store. I was like, oh, that's probably plenty. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to stop here with this one. I think that'll be good. So then after you get them all on, I'm just going to do this section here. Then I'm going to go ahead and um, finish the rest of them. So I'm just going to do everything the same way. And you're just going to want to separate these loops here. And it comes out so pretty. They are very pretty colors. It's just this mesh is just the weave in these are awful. But I mean, if you want to spend more money, you can always go to like Michael's or something and pick up some really nice mesh with a tighter weave. But I try to stick to just making them for a few bucks. And they hold up well. As long as you don't cut these, since they are so, um, I don't know what you want to call them. I don't want to say cheaply made, but Since the weave is such an open weave, let's say it that way, <laughs> that you really don't want to cut these and make the loops. Or right, you're probably going to end up with a mess. I have used Dollar Tree ones before, I mean a couple years ago, and I did the loop ones, and they came out really nice, but it's just not the same. See how nice it'll come if you separate these. I get that one? Doesn't look like it. See how puffy and pretty they look? Of course, you're not going to see any of these pipe cleaners when we're done, but that's just really, really pretty. All right, so what did we end up putting in there? I probably could use another one. Um, I may put one more in there, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we're going to go with twelve of those 8 inch bubbles per section. You can see the little sections here where they go in. So you're going to need 12 of 8 inch bubbles in there. So I'm going to finish going around these and let me show you what I'm going to use for the pumpkins. I got these pumpkins at Dollar Tree last week. I didn't like the color. I repainted them. I used the um, folk art chalk paint. It's called Monarch is the color and I just love this color so much better. And then I put two coats of chalk paint on here and then I um, coated it with Mod Podge because it was just a little too flat but the chalk paint covers really well but it did take two coats 
and these kind of look like tomatoes to me, the color, compared to an orange. So I just wanted to change them up, and these have the little clips, so you can just clip these right on, and these will be great, but I do love this color so much better, so I painted up four of them. Um, I don't know how many I'm going to put on here, but I figured I'd get a few of them painted. But isn't that a pretty color? All right, so let me finish doing this. I will see you guys after I'm back from the store. All right. Luckily, they had more of the same uh, mesh at Dollar Tree, so I picked up two more. It did take eight. It took eight rolls if you double them up like that. So I just wanted to mention that. And um, I've changed my mind a million times on this wreath already, so it's a good thing I paused the video. Because <laughs> you guys would have thought I was nuts. But anyway, after you get all your loops on here, you just want to make sure you pull them all apart really well and open them all back up. And that will make your wreath look nice and full. And this is just so much easier than rolling them for me, it is anyway. I do like the look of the rolled ones, but not with the Dollar Tree mesh because it's, like I said, it's just too widespread out here now. Um. All right, so I think I just have one more here. I just wanted to show you guys, make sure you don't forget to open up all your loops. Now, after this is all done, I measured it, and it's about 18 inches. So it turns out to be a pretty good size wreath. Oops, that one's not opened up either. I thought I had them all opened up. But, yeah, it comes out to be a really nice size. All right, let me get these two done. So I was going to put a whole bunch of ribbons on here, and I changed my mind because the sign I want to use is kind of big, and um, it's going to take up a lot of room. So let's see. Maybe we'll keep this down here at the bottom. But yeah, look how nice and full that is. They're so pretty. So anyway, I want to use this sign here that I picked up at Dollar Tree last week, and it just says Harvest Blessings. Now this is pretty large, so that's why I decided not to put too, too much more on here. So I glued, um, put a lot of hot glue back here and glued on some pipe cleaners to hold this on. And then I'm just going to work that down into the, wi uh, the wire of the wreath frame just to secure that. Easy for me to say, right? Let's see. All right, that'll come over there nice. Now these two, you can't really put these out in the weather because they're cardboard. They do have a lot of nice tin signs, too, this year at Dollar Tree, too, if you wanted to put on a nice tin sign, if you're going to have it out, you know, where it might get wet. But these are just, like, cardboard. Let me flip this over. All my multicolored... Um, pipe cleaners here. Just didn't want to get any more. I had so many of these pipe cleaners. And like I said, you're not going to see them, but you know, if you're really particular, just get yourself all the same color pipe cleaners. Let me see. That looks good right there. All right, so I'm just going to twist that on the back here. And I have to cut all these things off now since I've changed my mind once again. But there, doesn't that look pretty in the center? I'm going to hang this up when it gets all done so you'll we'll see it a little bit better. So I did want to add some ribbons, so I'm going to use these, um, these two ribbons here that I picked up at Dollar Tree. These are really, really pretty, um, and they're the wired ribbon. So I cut them, I cut two of the leaves, <clears throat> excuse me, and one of the plaid. And, um, you know, once you cut them out, I measured them at 12 inches. Um, you can make them whatever size you want. And this is kind of going to be my bow. And then you just fold them in, a, in half, and then just you know, cut them on an angle like that to make your little V in the center. So that's what I did with these. And then we're just going to fold these in half, find the center here, and then just kind of pinch it together. And this I'm going to put right down here on the bottom. And this is going to serve as my bow. Instead of a bow, I'm just going to have these pretty um, ribbons. These things, I don't know, I, I know a lot of people like to put bows on their, their wreaths and things, which is great if that's what you like, but I just, it's just too busy for me. Because you have all this pretty mesh, and I don't want to cover it up too much. Alright, so we have that down in there. And then we're just going to open these up. And then just bend them down, you know, so they look pretty.
And then I thought, I'll mess with this later after I get done uh, putting things on here. But I think that's just going to be just enough down here on the bottom of this wreath. Or you could put it on the top, whatever you like to do. And then I figured I'm going to take a few of these um, leaves from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to glue those down in there with some hot glue. It'll stick to that ribbon just fine. And get those down in there like that. And these are just a bunch, you know, you can pick these up at Dollar Tree. They always have these every year. Um, some of them are a little wrinkled up, but yeah, so are real leaves, right? <laughs> so I'm just going to put a little hot glue on both of these, stick them down in there, and then I'm going to take one of my little pumpkins, which I was originally, I even glued these on more. Now I'm going to try to get it off, this little clip, because I'm just going to glue this down in here. Of glue on that little guy, and I thought that would be pretty right there on the bottom, just with some of the ribbon, the leaves, and that is what I'm considering my bow. And then for the rest of these, I'm going to put. I'm sure, I got this even here. I'm just going to put a bunch of the leaves here and on the top, the same way. I just pull them right off of this thing here. I may have to find another bunch of these, but. And these I'm just going to glue right down in the mesh on the top. Right in here. And then another bunch of them. And we're going to add another pumpkin in there. So instead of a lot of ribbon, I decided I wanted to use a lot of leaves. Okay. Leaves and pumpkins. And then we're just going to glue our pumpkin down in there. And I think that looks so pretty. Hold that for a second while it cools off. And then I'm just going to put one on each side here, and I think that's going to be it. It'll be three, three bunches of the leaves and pumpkins, and one with my big ribbon down here on the bottom. I'm going to have to find more leaves. Hopefully I have another bunch like these. That's just been... Oh, there they are. Okay. I know I did. I always buy a bunch of these every year. And then I'm going to have to go back in and cut out a lot of these um, pipe cleaners that now I'm not using because I changed my mind again. I should have done that before, but you'd probably be better off if you decide where you're putting things to cut them off first. Some of these closed up on me. Alright, so let's see. Stick these leaves right down in here. Just so it kind of comes up over the sign a little bit. And then another pumpkin. I can't believe I changed my mind again after I spent all that time. <laughs> re-gluing all those so they wouldn't fall off, but that's all right. That one will come out to the side there a little bit. Actually, I might tack those down to the sign just so they stay where I want them. here. There. Just don't want to cover up the saying. Alright, and then I'm just going to put one more over here. Now on the back you can either add like a, um, oh I do have enough leaves, uh, a pipe cleater to hang it, or you know if you have like a um, wreath hanger. You can just hang it right onto the metal. Oh, I don't have any more red leaves. Let me see here. My pile of leaves. What we got? Uh, these will work. Yep. 
trying to find some redder looking leaves. Well, this will have to do. These are real wrinkled up. All right. Oops. Let me glue these down in here. Try to straighten these out a little bit. Some of them get, you know, they have them all crammed together um, in the display cases. You can kind of curl them back up. All right. And the pumpkin. Those are just, uh, those little clips on the back are just hot glued on here anyway, so they come off really easy. All right, now let me hold this here. Hopefully I can get that leaf to come up and over a little bit. Move these before they cool off. There we go. All right. And that is it. That's all I'm going to do to this. I think this is fine. Um, sometimes I think less is better. That's why I don't care for a lot of the big bows and things on these, because I love to see them mash. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to cut these things off here, my extra um, pipe cleaners that I'm not using now. And I'm going to hang this up, and then we'll get a nice shot of it. And uh, I'll be right back. All right, everyone. There it is, hanging up. Um, like I said, you could add more or less, whatever you want to, to these. I like it just the way it is. I probably should have did five bunches to make it a little more even looking. But I'm just going to leave this one be. Um, if you guys want to do that, it's totally up to you. Um, you could add some more ribbons, some more bows, um, berries, whatever. The sky's the limit. But I'm just going to leave this go because I like it. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone.